Hey guys, Gas TV here with another Path of Exile video, and we're going to talk about um, itemizing harvest crafts because this seems to be a hot topic lately. It's been something we talked about ever since the 3.15 interviews with Chris Wilson, which was both on Cicerone's channel, Bake Class, as well as this stream or my stream because you're watching this on YouTube most likely. Um, so the thing is with this is it's 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 a very hot topic, and it seems like the majority, from what I've seen, that people want to see itemized harvest crafts. So first off, we have to look at what's going to happen if they do this. Chris Wilson confirmed on the interview that they were, if, if they were to do that route, they would have to make the crafts rarer. So that one augment craft you found, that, that one league, uh, well, that's not going to be found anymore because it's so fucking rare. This is detrimental to casual players. And not other than being detrimental to casual players, not being able to find these bigger crafts because uh, they will be rarer. Uh, they will also turn into the position of what's happening to beast crafts. Basically, there's like one guy having 20 items up for sale on the page, and that's just one part of the problem. The biggest problem, though, with itemizing harvest crafts, and I will tell you this right now, and I don't, 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 like, don't misunderstand me here. I think that getting them itemized is a solution. I just don't think it's the best solution. Because what's going to happen is that there are certain crafts that is being used by the 1% players, which are for the meta. So very specific augment crafts for the meta crafts will be skyrocketing in value. Augment influence is always mega big. Reforge influence is big as well. So what's going to happen is it's going to become a flipper's paradise. And because of that, people will corner markets. And like I, as one of the people that crafts mirror items every league, I will obviously be joining in on this idiocracy because it's going to be super hard for us to create mirror items which means that we're going to be sniping up these items to basically gatekeep them away from the uh, the casual players. And suddenly certain crafts will only ever be used and purchased and traded by the 1% player base. That's not the type of player base that we want this game to cater to. I wish this game would or that GGD would cater more to the casual players. So itemizing harvest crafts will result in this. Imagine augment influence. It goes for between 10 to 15 X normally, bouncing around those numbers in the start of the league. It slowly trickles down, trickles up to 20x, then 25, then 30, and then it goes from there to the end of the league. It sells for 60 up to 100x sometimes. Absolutely crazy prices. If they itemize this shit, every single mother of the 1% player base will be sniping these off the market because they know that, first off, it's a very good investment for their own crafts. Also a very good investment because they know that this will go up in value. So whatever money they spend on buying this will be worth more if they decide to sell it later. Now, because of this, you have the people that want to use them, want to snipe them. You have the people that want to flip them, that want to snipe them. And what then happens is that you're going to see none of these crafts become usable or achievable by the casual players. Now, obviously, I'm talking specifically about Augment Influence, but this also goes for, uh, take example of the Mage Scale build using Augment Crits to finish the Large Cluster Duel as one of the many, many, many examples. That means Augment Crits will be extremely expensive as well because of the two reasons that the people that craft with them will snipe them and the people that want to flip them snipes them. So instead of having the generic price that TFT is running with right now, Instead of that, we'll have a much higher price tag on them on top of the fact that they're going to be more rare. I think this is very, very bad for the game to, to have in this case because it's going to end up being a problem where people will just hoard these crafts and then sell them either in bulk or they will sell them for a much higher price because of this. I know some other tips have been uh, or suggestions have been posted around in the community and we talked about it for many leagues now. And that is to introduce something similar to what World of Warcraft has or, or MMO games in general have with crafts being uh, able to be traded in, in like a window. I'll see if I can try do a quick illustration of this. Say you have a, a trade window that um, that looks like uh, that looks like this, right? And then you'd have like a little extra menu here, uh, and this menu would be uh, won't be traded. Uh, and this window, you would basically be able to put your item in 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 the box here. So um, let's say you put your your um, your item in here, and the person could be like, okay, well, I'm gonna put the harvest craft uh, this in here. And um, basically, what would then happen is that you have your item, and this is craft he's gonna put on it, and you would then basically put some um, some currency to be traded. Uh, for this transaction. So basically, uh, like World of Warcraft's doing, so you would do the trade and your item that you put in this window would be receiving this craft 
for this transaction. Now, this is a, a solution that would um, make TFT less uh, interesting, and hopefully they would allow us to uh, create an API. Maybe they could itemize the craft, similar to imprint orbs, because you can't trade the, the crafts, but you could at least put them up for trade, so you can use that orb on, the, on an item. That would be a good solution that would help, the, uh, the, help battle uh, scammers, it would help battle people using the wrong crafts because you can just read the text and be like, okay, this is the right craft. I'm going to pay for it. I'll click on the accept button down here. Um, right? And uh, bam, we're done, right? This would be a solution to it. Having them itemizable and selling the crafts as an orb, so instead of having it here, it would be in here and be traded for a transaction of currency is going to be very detrimental in my opinion. But doing it this way would be a lot easier and much better in my opinion. So this is a better solution than itemizing the crowd just straight up. Because I think that's going to be very detrimental, mainly for the casual players. Uh, on top of the fact that if they do this, they have stated that they will make crafts rare. That's just my two cents on this topic. I know it's, an, it's a hot topic and I still for the life of me can't understand why people think that itemizing them to be selling the craft as an orb is a good solution because it presents so many more problems than those problems is created by the 1% players and is detrimental to the casual players. And I just wish this game would just focus more on the casual players because they are the ones that makes up this game for what it is, in my opinion. Uh, thanks for, my, for coming to my TED Talk. Hit the like button, subscribe for more content. And until next time, as always, stay safe. Keep rocking.